Before this was announced, the Spartans played their doubleheader against the Ohio State Buckeyes in baseball. Michigan State won game one last night 7-1. to one. In the first game of a doubleheader today, head coach Jake Boss looking for career win number 401 at MSU. And well, he might have to wait a while. Buckeye catcher Matthew Graveline powers a fifth inning two-run homer over the fence and left to stake OSU to a 6-2 lead. The Buckeyes went on to win by the 10-run mercy rule 13-2 to take the opener. So let's go to game two, quite a different story. The Spartans jump out early first inning, Wild pitch scores a run and the throw home is wild. So Brock Bradenburg scores that makes it three nothing MSU. Then Dylan Clark sends a shot to right center. That would be his first of four hits on the day or the game rather that scores Jack Frank on a neat slide there. Classy effort. Spartans scored six runs in the opening inning in the third runners are on first and third. Spartans pull the fake double steal. Throw goes to second, Greg Ziegler motors home for an 8-2 lead. Mitch Jeb added to the hitting party with a laser shot single to right to put MSU in front 9-2. This one became a laugher as you see former Grand Ledge pitcher Wyatt Rush closes things out in the seventh. He gets a fly out to end the game, another mercy rule game. Except MSU on the winning side, 16-3 in seven innings, two out of three total and another series win for the green and white. It was a weird day. I mean, you don't get to play 14 innings of doubleheader too often, but I mean, we got our butt handed to us first game, but that's the beauty of baseball. You just have a short memory, and I mean, we played 40 minutes after, so couldn't really carry it into this game and mercy them, so it was a good day overall win the series. Always better to win the second game. You leave the park feeling a little bit better, and uh, the bus ride is, uh, is a little sweeter, I guess, when you win game two. And I credit our guys. We challenged them a little bit between games. They really answered the bell, and um, so, you know, it was, it was good to see.